All right, here you go. A big hint for the number trick. Um, so if I do these steps to a number, I should come out with that number as I described, a number that you picked in the first place, and then a two-digit number, which is your age, okay? So let's start to write it algebraically. If I choose a number x and I multiply by 2, that's 2x. If I add 5, that's 2x, twice a number, plus 5, okay? And then what a lot of people have next is times 50, which seems to be right because that's the next thing that we do. But let's try for a specific number and see what's wrong and see how to fix it. And that's part of this huge, huge hint. Okay, let's try it for number 7. Okay, so we choose the number 7 for x. We multiply it by 2. We add 5. We multiply it by 50. So we should get uh, 950. Okay, so let's just stop there. That's what we should get. That's kind of where we are up to right now. Let's try it for 7, okay? We're going to put 7 in the place of x. 2 times 7 plus 5 times 50. But here's the thing I'm going to do. I'm going to follow exactly what's written here, okay? So 2 times 7 is 14, plus, well, 5 times 50, the order of operations that we agreed to would tell me to multiply these together first. So that's 250. So 250 plus 14 is 264. But I was supposed to be at 950 by now. Right? Let's step back up here. Let's look at 2 times 7 is 14, right? So this is 14. When I multiply 50 by, I'm supposed to multiply 50 by 19. That's right. That's If you're doing the steps correctly, that is what you should be doing. 50 times 19. But what I wind up doing here, if I follow the order of operations, is 50 only times 5, and then I just add on the 14 and after that. Right? I'm supposed to add the 14 and the 5 first. I'm supposed to add the 14 and the 5 and get 19 and do 19 times 50. Okay, so this isn't right. How do I make it so that the 14 and the 5 get added together to get 19 and then you multiply by 50? Well, that's where that the, the trump card of all order of operations, the very first thing, right? We're down here at multiply and divide and add and subtract, right? Multiply and divide come first, that's why we're multiplying these first and then adding together, but I want to add first. How do I make you add before you multiply? With parentheses, right? Parentheses. So that's how I would make you do 14 plus 5 is 19, and then multiply that by 50, okay? So I need parentheses around this tw 2 times a number plus 5. That's a huge, huge hint there, all right? And I'm going to go even further. I'm just going to keep going with this, okay? 2x plus 5, that whole thing in parentheses, times 50, Plus, I'm just going to use what I would use because I had my birthday already to this year. So 1765. Okay. Minus my birth year. Okay. Uh, which I won't give you. I don't know why. Just not. Um, so what I'll do here, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you what I would do. I want to simplify what's going on here. Think about this. Here's my birth year. Part of the answer is your age. So how, how is it? Like what number would I have to subtract my birth year from to get how old I am? That's a simple calculation, right? If I, if, if I knew your birth year and another piece of information and I subtract your birth year from that other piece of information, I would know how old you are, you know, assuming that you had your birthday already, or maybe I would have to change it if you hadn't had your birthday already, right? So the one thing I'm going to remind you of is there's a multiplying, right? Now we're following, following the order of operations. There's multiplying by 50 times this parentheses, parentheses 2x plus 5. How do I multiply this 50 by the parentheses 2x plus 5? Okay, there's a property that starts with a D, and that's what I'm going to say, all right? That is a big part of simplifying the whole thing down so that I can clearly see why I have my number that I started with and the age on the end, okay? Um, and then remember to answer the question, can we only use numbers from two to nine or will simplifying this out show us that we could use any number we want, any number at all, okay? Um, except for maybe negative numbers. I think that would mess this process up here. Um, 50, yeah, 
pretty sure that would mess things up. So um, try that, it's a big hint. Remember, property that starts with D here is gonna help you simplify that down. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching.